played tennis? Well, I have, yeah, before I had my bad hand, so if I don't get too many, like, I've got my excuse already. Okay, so there's a bit of an excuse. Martin has played, he's a sportsman, he's an athlete, but he's got a crook finger, okay? Now, Martin, what you'll be doing is playing a game of tennis. Yeah. In this suit, you've got some tennis clobber. Well, no, I think I might take my jacket off. He's going to take his jacket off. off. He'll have his undies around his ankle. He has 45 seconds to hit as many balls as he can over the net after one bounce. Each time you return a ball, Martin, you can pull your dacks up yep. and run out and get another one, and then we'll count how many you've got. Sounds like fun. It is fun, mate. It's great. <laughs> You'll be great. You are the people that will win these prizes. All you have to do is guess how many undies Martin's going to get up. This is the number to call. 0891 44 Our call should cost no more than 25p. Martin the Fire, good luck. Thanks so we'll much. be looking I'll forward to that. I'll need it. You'll be right, mate. And you've had a haircut, haven't you? Uh, just a little bit of a trim. You've had that little bit cut off. <laughs> OK, beauty, the time is now 8.15. We're going to cry out to the man out and about with a big breakfast. Where are you, Richard? Yes, good morning. On the fire. Yeah. How are you? Uh, not too bad. Yeah. It's a bit early for me. But... It's a bit, isn't it? It's a bit afternoon and all, isn't it? I know, it is a bit, actually. I'm sweating like a dray horse to call, coin an old whittle expression. Larry, I won't take my clothes off, though. No, don't take your clothes off. No, not yet. Spit lace it on. <laughs> Martin, I've got to come out to you. I'm a rugby fanatic. Oh, you from Liverpool? I thought you'd be supporting Well, I used Emerson to be. I used to be. No, Tramia Rovers. Oh, Tramia Rovers. Tramia. Yeah, tramia. <laughs> Good old Tramia. Tramia. Uh, yeah. But rugby, like, it's become so popular now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's become a bit more popular. You know, next year we're playing in the summer and stuff, yeah. so it'll be even a bit more of a spectacle. And how many tries have you scored? Well, I think I lost count about 300. What is a try? Woo! A try? Uh, yeah, you have to excuse me. <laughs> is is well, that when you kick the ball in the goal? No, no. no. If, if I had a kick ball, it. I could show you, but I haven't a got one. A so. try? Yeah. So is it just like when you tackle them and all? No, it's just when you fall over the line with the ball, you know, just like... See, I should play rugby. I'd be a good hooker, don't you reckon? You think, uh, I'd be a brilliant hooker. You're a bit, you're a bit tall, though. No, man. I'm not. I've got the welly. I'd be in there. Cause the I'm evil. Well, you see, I'd <laughs> Are you evil? Give us a ball. Yeah, I'd stamp all over Well, I'm glad them. I don't have to play against you, then, put it that way. <laughs> What's happened? I was in hospital the other day having an operation on my finger. So, How my tendons come that? off. I was trying to grab somebody like that, you see. But, and, and like that. That's a bit delicate, <laughs> isn't it? A delicate grab for a rugby player. <laughs> isn't it rough? Well, it is rough. It is rough. But I stay out of the way. You see, I play on the wing. I don't get. Oh, do you like middle. sort of say, yeah. let them get? I'd do yeah. that. I'd say, I'll leave them to yeah, it. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Did you hit it? Yeah. No. As I say, I had an operation the other day. It didn't work, so I just have to strap it up. And how many? On. How many sports injuries have you had? Ooh, God. Millions. How, how long have we got? <laughs> Shoulder dislocation, collarbone dislocation, oh, wow. broken jaw. <laughs> And I play out the way, I don't get involved in myself. Well, that's, I'd, keep, I'd keep well out the way. Keep well out the way, I tell you. That's sort of, if they ran at me, I'd scream. Go, Woo, no, I'm out. No, you can have the ball. Have it. Thank you. I'm going for a lie down. No, it is, but it's, it's grace. I love it. Now, um, a little bird told me, it was a vulture, actually, that you did a thing in a magazine. <laughs> Come on, Martin, you <laughs> Spill the beans. Spill the beans. <laughs> Oh, I forgot, I've just got amnesia. Well, I'll... <laughs> Martin did um, a bit of a pin up, actually, didn't you? For, um, well, for I... a women's magazine. Well, I took some photographs. Yeah, but they weren't that sort of. No, they're just sort of head and shoulders. Yeah, he wasn't like, you know, full Monty. He was sort of draped artistically, weren't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, very, very, very. Yeah. And the song? You've recorded a song? Oh, well, no, just uh, some friends of mine, Gino and, uh, and Paul, are in his group called Shiva. It's more of a, like, uh, you know, in the dance sort of scene, in the disco, not. Not something that, you know, yeah. not, not we are on our way to Wembley or anything. Will he give us a blast of it? No. Oh, go on. <laughs> no. Does he have to sing it? He does, doesn't he? Does he no, sing I it? No, I don't. No, I don't. But we're going to listen to it. Go on, we're listening to it. We're listening to it, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Martin, you're going to have to be careful with that one. Wait till I see Gino. Tom, are you open? Gino, when I see you, I'm going to get you because you said they weren't going to play you. Yeah, we like that. I like that, no? Yeah, he's kicking off. He didn't know this was happening, you say. He's kicking off. I've had to restrain him during that. Absolutely. Now, to judge, we've got judges for this song as well. Did they tell you about this? No. No, they're evil on this show. Evil, honestly. We've got. Can you put it back up because I can't see the names? We've got Guy Pratt, who was the bass guitarist for Pink Floyd. Yes, the man himself. And we've also got Beans, who's a record producer from Love City Woo! Group. Woo! Good morning, fellas. What did Hi. you think? Uh, he's a rugby player. He's over there. It's the best song I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> what did you I, think? I, I would agree with you, yeah. I mean, it sounds absolutely brilliant. So, what, what we do, do with the Beans me? remix, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Give it a bit of... Nah, man. That's good, man. It's good. No, I'll, get, I'll get Morales to be. remix it, mate. How <laughs> much? What did you give it? Oh, I'll give it 8 out of 10. 8? Um, <laughs> nine. 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 9. 9 out of 10, and I give it 10 out of 10. Well, so it's go. not for the charts, just for so clubs. What's happening now? Oh, yes. Uh, 
Now, this is a little clip, please. Who's worried about her date? But please don't phone in, cos it's just for fun. <laughs> somewhere near Paris. OK, beauty. All we need now is some tennis professionals. I said it was going to be only one man, but it's going to be two men. It's going to be men's doubles. We have, in fact, footy legend Martin of Fire. Martin. Yeah. Yeah. Martin of Fire on centre court, and he's going to be joined by his old mate. When I say old, I'm talking old. Here he comes, Daly Thompson. On your daily. Oh, beauty. So they're together, these other lads. Now, what will happen, if you step over to our volley dollies now, uh, you will have underpants placed around your ankles. There's your rackets. <laughs> underpants placed around your ankles. You have 45 Ball, seconds right? to get as many balls as you possibly can across That's over the net. Fun. And whoever guesses at home how many of these two gentlemen <laughs> will get over the net combined this. in this big breakfast centre court spectacular gets to win that prize. So let's go across now to our scoreboard. Morning, Nicola. Good morning. Good morning. Here at the scoreboard. So let's uh, go to our first caller. Caller number one, good morning. Hello. Hello, and what is your name? Linda. Linda, L-I-N-D-A? -L yes. Good on you, Linda. Where are you from, Linda? South End on Sea. On Sea? Oh, is it lovely down there? Uh, not too bad. Yes, is, the breeze, is there a bit of a sea breeze blowing away this mist? Well, I'm not that close to the sea, actually. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Well, I, I don't see. You don't see. You don't see the sea. Oh, anyway, doesn't matter. How many pairs of pants do you think um, Marty Fire and Daly Thompson will get on in 45 seconds? Eight. Eight? Combined effort of eight. <laughs> so that's, that's six for you, Marty, and two for you, Dale. OK, call number two. Hello. G'day, mate. What's your name? It's Rod from Malmesbury in Wiltshire. Now, was that Rod? Rod. Good on you, Rod. Uh, 
from Yorkshire? Malmesbury. Malmesbury. That sounds nothing like Yorkshire. <laughs> Wiltshire. Wiltshire. Some, somewhere Shear. Yes. Okay, Beauty, how many, how many pairs of pants do you think they're going to get up? Seven. Seven, Rod. Right. Seven. Okie dokie, there's your magic number is up there on the board now. Okie dokie, uh, call number three. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, what's your name? It's Susie Barnes. Did you get that? Susie Barnes. Susie, well done. Oh, I can't hear you. Um, okay, how many, how many pairs of pants do you reckon they're going to get up, Susie? Um, Fourteen. Fourteen? Between the two of them. Have you ever seen Between this the two of them. You, That's why. Settle down, Daly. Have you ever played tennis before, Daly? Well, she's obviously never put underpants on before. Yeah, lucky you. Actually, come down and ram that racket down your throat, Daly. <laughs> not careful. Okie okay, dokie, we've got other. There's eight, there's seven, there's 14. That's a very interesting choice. I quite fancy that one. Okay, everyone's called in. We have our bolly dollies. Do you have your undies on? Soon as hit the ball, back, pull them up. Come and get another pair of undies. Okay, okay. Uh, ready, Colonel? Marvellous. Uh, scoreboard's ready. Bolly dollies ready. Ball boy's ready. If you step out onto the court, the game starts as soon as that first ball comes over. Okay. 45 seconds for that first ball. Come on, boy. There it is. There's one. Pull your pants up. Okay, they're both there at the same time. That's it. Go, Marty. Shot. Shot. He is a superhero of tennis. Daly, how long is it going to take you to get your undies on? Nice shot, Daly. Nice shot. Over the net. Over the net. Oh, shot. Oh, yes, it's all happening. He's got two pairs. Two pairs of undies. This is incredible. Pull them up, Marty. Game Absolutely set spectacular! And match. Yes! A big round of applause here at Centre Court. Up with your rundies. Yes, these boys have played sport before. Bolly dollies, if you would please count. You right there, Marty? Bit of an injury. Oh no, million pound wrist there. No, oh, you'll be right, mate. <laughs> okay, okay, let's count these undies. Counting the undies. You ready? One. That's all right. One. Two. Three. Four, oh, oh, five, this is five, six, six, well done. Daily, how'd you go, mate? Six, try saying, seven, eight, nine. What are you doing, Dale? They're up. <laughs> Ten, eleven, twelve. Incredible! That is the biggest point score of undies we've had on this show. Susie, it's you, mate. Of course it's you, 14. You knew what was going to happen. You knew these people had played sport before. You've won that prize at Disneyland, Suze. Are you there, Suze? Yeah, me! You... That's it, mate. Yeah. Off your chair. Can I just say that... Oh, settle down. Don't go to the tell you. You know when I put people them off their mark. Well, that's it. Well done. Well done, Suze. Come on, I'll put you up for your breakfast, wouldn't it? Uh, we're going to ask you a question. How could... Uh, how could what? What could possibly happen there? We don't what could know. Po oh, I don't know. Don't phone though. Just oh no, maybe phone. Just a you read my book. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to read it. I lived it. Or at least that's the name my parents gave me. You'll probably know me as Martin of Fire, try scoring winger for Wigan and Great Britain rugby league teams. And that's my big decision. Should I fight to keep the name I was born with? Or should I be resigned to the fact that the world knows me by another name, the wrong name? Option one. I'm proud of my family name, Ophir. The name Ophir comes from Nigeria, where my father still lives and works. And my family have been known as Ophir for generations. I don't think I should have to change the way I pronounce my own name. I mean, how would you feel if you were called Smith? and people started to call you Smut or Smoothie. Hi, my name is Chris. I happen to be Martin's best friend. His surname is pronounced Ophia, but the English press call him Ophia. He should be called Ophia, because he's a good old Nigerian boy. My mum and dad are always telling me I should stand up for myself and tell people they've got it wrong. Option two, resign myself to a fire. 
I was first caught a fire a few years ago when a journalist mispronounced my name and it stuck. Headline writers picked up on it and commentators had a field day with jokes about chariots of fire, firepower, and even great balls of fire. Hi, my name's Dave Woods, BBC Radio 5 Live's rugby league commentator. Now, when I call Martin a fire a fire, everybody knows who I'm talking about. If I start calling him Offia, nobody's going to know who I'm talking about. So I think, Martin, you should stay as you are. So what do you think I'm called? My name's Anne, and I think it should be a fire. Martin, a fire? A fire. It should be Martin. Off here, off here, a fire. A fire. Should I insist that everyone pronounces my name properly, or play along and be known for the rest of my life as great balls of fire? Off here or a fire? Option one or option two? I can't decide. It's up to you. We'll go straight to our panel on this one, Martin. Uh, we're talking to Steve from the uh, dad from the family of the week. Steve, what do you reckon? A fire. A fire. A fire. A fire. Uh, a fire, sir. Uh, the the person's name, yes? Yeah. 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 Nicola? Ophir. Otherwise, is, is he not an Irishman, is he? Oh, fire. He's not from Ireland. No, Martin, oh, fire. Ophir. Ophir. Colonel, what do you think, mate? Ophir the notch. It's Ophir. Uh, yeah, good. Okay. That's right. <laughs> no, we understand that. Ophir. Well, Martin, Offia. Right, well, okay, we're going to take the vote on that now. Who reckons that Martin should stick with his name? His name is Martin Offia. Who yeah. reckons it should be Martin Offia? Yeah. Yeah. Who reckons I go, oh, well, Martin a fire, because it's, you know, Martin's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Martin, mate, you've got, you've got to make a stand. Yeah. Martin Offia. So this is it. This is, this is it, an exclusive. This is Martin I, I Offia. I am who I am. How do you feel, mate? How do you feel about it? It feels great. Good on you, mate. <laughs> Martin Offia. Coming up, uh, Nicola McCauliffe, we'll be talking to our very own Lily. And right now, the question about the cliff. What's the impossible order? But remember, don't fail, it's just for fun. Martin Offia. Oh, oh. I will be there, and in the house, actually, in the kitchen, is Martin Offia. Oh. Martin, how are you, man? Fine, thanks. Let's hear it. Let's give it up for Martin Offia. <laughs> He's going to be doing a big time this Saturday for you. Now, Martin, now, there has been a bit, um, a bit of indecision about whether you would be playing at all. Are you playing? Well, hopefully I will be, yeah. Oh, it's still a hopefully? Yeah, hopefully. I've got a bit of a fitness test later on today, so... Later on today. Okie dokie. Um, I, I, I just got to get... Are, are you playing Super League? Yeah, I'm, yeah, Super League over here, though. Super League over here? Yeah, the Super League in England, Super League in Australia, and they play off at the end of the year. That's right, that's right. Who are you playing Who will you be playing for? I'll still be playing for Wigan, yeah. Wigan, Super yeah. League. Yeah. Okie dokie. Now, as England, um, rugby, rugby League, have they chosen their Super League players for their team? Uh, no, because they've got players like Phil Clark, who's playing for in the I ARL in Australia. So we've still got players, you know, who are not in Super League, will still be playing for England in this World Cup. So has England got a chance of winning this World Cup? Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> because the Australian stars have a bit of a row down. There's been a bit of a row down under with the Super League, and none of the Super League players are playing in this new Aussie Test side. Yeah, but they've still got a pretty formidable outfit, you know. I reckon. I think they crushed New Zealand three 0 so uh, they're meant to be like you know, one of the top sides in the world. So. All bodes well for them. Exactly. You've been in, you've been in training, been with the team. Yeah, I've been in camp, you know, since um, Monday. So uh, all the lads join up today and then come down to London tomorrow. So right. I've got to go back up to back Leeds up and then back down to London tomorrow. <sighs> the so busy like, hurly burly world of rugby league. I'll just field to Bradford to <laughs> Leeds. <laughs> <laughs> the jet set. Now, what what, what is it? Is it hard there on um, at training camp? Yeah, not for me. I haven't done any training. So no. Oh, that, well, that's, that's been like a that's good from Australian standpoint. <laughs> <laughs> But um, what, what's it like there? Like, these all, a lot of you are from Wigan, aren't you, in this uh, yeah. current squad? Yeah, a lot of them from Wigan, so you know. It's, so you know each other? Yeah, know each other. Right, everyone knows each other. It's not, you know, it's not, not that big up there. Teams are, you know, pretty much know each other. And the side's been together. I know there's quite a few young players in, but the side's been together for quite a few years now. And, uh, Martin, I, I can't go much further without talk, talking about the hairdo. Yeah. Um, what, what is, that is a green, is it? Is it no, a, it's, it's a, sort of an orange. orange. Is it changing? It must be the light, I think. It must be the light, mate. It's got, you just thought it's time to change of image. Last time you were in, you'd had, you had the little... No, I was bald at the time. Bald, totally bald. Yeah, well, I just... Was... Is it something with sports, sports people at the moment? They're going for a lot of the... Uh, well, the white I hair, just mate. kept getting fed up with shaving it all the time, so I thought I'd just do this. Fair enough, and diet. I've had it a few different colours, actually. Have you? Red yeah. and blue. Oh, rainbow, I fear. Just, oh, I match, <laughs> match my clothes now, you see. 
It's coordinated. Coordinated. So will you have will it be red, white, and blue on well, I don't Saturday? Know. I don't know if I can get it done. <laughs> I'll get it done, man. <laughs> Draw the line. Okay, okay. Well, Martin, good luck. Thanks uh, a lot. On the day now, well, what we're we actually going to do? We're going to we're going to get an Aussie down, um, but because of insurance and stuff, we couldn't yeah. even get a little game of touch football. We couldn't get anything going. Um, oh, in any shame. way. What a shame. What a shame. <laughs> um, so I've got a game, uh, we'll have a game of operations there. We've got a, bit of a, <laughs> we'll have a game of Scrabble. Is that alright? We have a game uh, of Scrabble or something? I'm not bad at chess actually. Chess? Oh, chess, Martin. Okay, I'm going to have a game of chess with Martin. Uh, well, we are now ask where Richard is out there and about. Martin? Thanks a lot. Good luck. Thanks a lot.